Strangely though, there's a subtle problem with this explanation of the second law of thermodynamics. Let's take an example of an empty box that contains a vacuum. Let's introduce some air into one corner of the box. This is a low entropy starting state for this system of particles. When left alone, the air will naturally expand out into the box, occupying a larger volume with a wider range of random particle motions. The air went from a low entropy state into a higher entropy state as expected. But the motion of air molecules is random, so isn't it possible that by chance all of the air molecules could return to the one corner of the box where they started? The answer is actually yes. However, the chance of that happening is astronomically small. Yet, it could happen, and that would mean that the second law of thermodynamics could be violated in that the system could evolve from a higher entropy state into a lower entropy state. In fact, there is a recurrence theorem that says that a system of particles that is confined to a bounded region, like our box, will eventually reset itself back to its starting state. It will not only do this once, but actually an infinite number of times. Given enough time, every possible state will occur and repeat over and over again forever. It's not just a chance that it will occur, but it is guaranteed to occur. By extension, this is also true for something like a warm glass of water that is left on a table. We could watch that glass of water over a lifetime, even over the lifetime of our universe, and never see any discernible change. Yet, if we wait for an indeterminate amount of time, many orders of magnitude beyond the lifetime of the universe, then at some point we would expect to see the warm glass of water heat up and generate ice cubes within in opposition to the second law of thermodynamics. In the glass of water, for example, it might contain upwards of 10 to the power of 25 molecules of water, but it would take 10 to the power of 10 to the power of 25 years to see this happen. This is unfathomably long. So does this even matter to us since the chance of violating the second law of thermodynamics in any meaningful way seems essentially negligible on the timescales of our universe. 